again, same thing. You'll see, inspect, empty, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Do it again so you can see. You pull the trigger. So now you know it's an empty gun, okay? okay. So for safety. So I want you just to bring that up to your shoulder. Okay. Fingers out of the trigger guard until you're ready to go. And now you see that red dot? Yeah. Now with this gun, you want to shoot with both eyes open. Okay. Okay, because you, all you're doing is looking at that red dot in the target. So you don't need to close your one eye, which you'll have to get used to it. Okay? But on this side, this is safe. So it's on safe right now. Mm -hmm. So your fingers off the trigger. When you're on target, your thumb's going to come. You're going to press that down. Now it'll be ready to fire. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to shoot a couple rounds first. Okay. Just so you can okay. hear it. It's very quiet. So I'll let you get your ears on. <laughs> Good shooting platform. You want to kind of keep everything in tight, elbow in, because anything that sticks out is now another sub for something to hit, right? I want to kind of stay as streamlined as possible. And the gun, I kind of just pull nice and comfortable right inside. Right here. Once I'm in and ready, the safety's off. Clear, check it, make sure it's safe. Good to go. Okay? Wow. So it doesn't kick, right? See yeah. no movement? You're going to be good to go. So wherever you hold this red dot on, you're going to be pretty close to hitting right there. Now, point that red dot right at that center diamond. Good. Okay, good. You inspect and make sure you look in the chamber to make sure it's empty. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, not bad. Gets a little heavy after a while. Now I'm going to show you what may help you also. So anytime you're shooting a long rifle, even though this grip is here, I like to kind of cheat it up and hold up. You should always drive the gun from the front. So you want to try to always grip on the rifle that you have, mm -hmm. that you're as far as forward as you can go comfortably. All right, it's, you don't want to really try to shoot like this. This might be a little hard because you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. But as you get comfortable with it, I kind of modify. I use this and the front. Okay. Okay? And then this way, anytime you're driving the gun from the front, you're going to have much more control over it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Especially if you start banging out some of the bigger rounds out of this. Okay? okay. So that, that may help you. Because sometimes here, the gun's heavy. Mm -hmm. you, you notice things kind of moving around. Yeah, a lot, I wanted right? to get used to like... Yeah, yeah. What, I never shot one Never shot one before. There. You did great. So you just punch that thing right out. And then again, it's controlled on your breathing. Right? Don't hold your breath. Make sure you just remember your breathing. You put that right in there. Now your first few rounds were right inside that in that area, so okay. you look good. Then as you start to get a little tired, wander, that's okay. So you stop and then you engage again. Alright, so now you can flip the safety off. Same thing. Right in that center of the thing. Try to put one in each of those red diamonds. Start with the top, center, next two, and then work your way down. Okay, so if you aren't, lift it off. fast as you can pull that trigger, rip those rounds right in there. Okay? okay. Good, good to go. Safety's on. Okay, you drop the trigger. Once you get that grip and guns, so that's it. Good, good, good. Flip that safety off. And fast as you can go. Great job. And you'll see that that find that balance point so that you can control the gun and that the gun's not you're not fighting it mm -hmm. you know it's a head they're heavy so you just got to get used to tucking these arms in and pulling that gun in not so tight that you're beating yourself up mm -hmm. but enough that you have control over that gun and anytime you look somewhere you, you, you don't look without pointing your gun so if I'm looking my fingers off the trigger but I'm always engaging when my eyes go my gun goes so if you had engaged a threat, you're there. You want to have to play catch up, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so we just wrapped up the day at the range here. 
Uh, we kind of went over a little bit of our gun safety today to get familiarized with the Glock 9mm mm -hmm. handgun. Did some great shooting with that. Worked on some reloading drills, some mag changes. Really good. Uh, you got to shoot the Desert Eagle, fire round out of that. Yeah. Proud. That was awesome. You held on to that gun. That's not an easy gun to shoot. It's very um, hard. <laughs> then we worked a little work with the rifles. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. You really did great. You're a great student, easy to teach. Most girls are because they listen, you know, they don't have egos. Yes. You try to train the guys, they're, they're difficult, right? Yeah, because everybody thinks they're the best yeah. of the best. You did awesome, you really did. So awesome. I really appreciate you having me out. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for teaching me all that you taught me and I can't wait to learn some good. more. Yeah. Awesome, very good. All right, this is Alex Wilkie from Alex Wilkie MMA. We're out of here.